So I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro there. So we're going to start off with a freshly cleansed face and then I'm going to go in with a white eyeliner just to sketch out any of the areas that I kind of not want to be green just so then it saves effort later on. And I did originally like sketch out my eyes but I kind of wish I just did a thick wing instead. You'll see later on since it kind of smudged a little bit. But I'm going to use a mixture of Mayron face paints and this Makeup Forever flash palette dupe that I got from eBay. So I'm just going to base my face out in green and basically any other skin that is showing and it's water activated so literally just spray a little bit of water and dip straight into the paint and it's easy to use. And then I'm going to use some of the darker green kind of as a contour so I'm putting that on the outer perimeter of my face. And then I went in with a little bit of a white face paint just on like the kind of highlighting portions of my face just to add a little bit of dimension. And then I'm going to blend that out using the same brush just so it kind of has a green hue to it still. From here you can pretty much fill in the areas that you feel kind of works best for you. So I just went in with the kind of bloody red patches first and just added random bits of blood and then went in and filled in some teeth. The easiest way that I find to do this is to use like a concealer paddle brush and then basically just paint them on like that and then sketch around it with some black just to add a little bit of definition. And what you want to do is try and keep the lines kind of sharp on these areas. So yeah, it makes it a little bit difficult. Then just pick whatever colour you want for your brows and I also matched it with my lips. So I went for neon pink just because why not? Also they're slightly crooked but I do correct it later on, do not worry. Eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins, whatever the saying is, definitely applies here. So as you can see I'm basically just filling in the corresponding sections that I mapped out with the colours and then you've got to make sure that you outline it in quite a thick black line to give it that pop art kind of feel. And so you just want to keep going back and forth so you've got enough definition in the colours that you want but also to keep that like outline. So then you're also going to want to add in some like expression lines, whatever, you can make your zombie look as ugly and horrible looking as you want by adding more like frowns and like angry features. And I also drew on some little lashes on my lower lash line just to try and add a little bit more of a glam pop art kind of cartoon girl look. And then wherever you add some shading, add some highlighting to the opposite portion of it. So you want to make this kind of so your skin is more like a comic book kind of cartoony looking. So you want to keep it quite like solid. You want the white lines to be quite visible and then just add blood wherever you want. And my eyeliner smudged a little bit. I did take a little bit of eyeshadow and just kind of finessed like around my contour points and everything. And then all you need to do is pop on a wig and paint your hands if they're going to be visible. And thanks for watching guys. See you in my next video. Like a hell cat. <laughs>